Hello boys and girls, today we're going to be learning how to do word problems that have two steps for both addition and subtraction. So let's review our keywords here. Remember, in addition we typically see in all total all together in the sum. That lets us know that we're going to be adding. And with a subtraction word problem, we usually see have left, left over, more than, the difference, or fewer. And so that is how we know we need to subtract. If you remember how to do a word problem, we first need to read the entire problem, then go back and find the important information, like circling the numbers and finding those keywords. Are we going to add, subtract, multiply, or divide? And sometimes you might do more than one. And then you just go ahead and do the math. So let's get started with this problem here. So we read it first. Braylon ate 24 hot dogs in a hot dog eating contest. Leo ate nine more hot dogs than Braylon. How many hot dogs did, did Braylon and Leo eat all together? So I see that Braylon ate 24 hot dogs and that Leo ate nine more hot dogs. So he didn't just eat nine hot dogs, he ate nine more hot dogs. So that's important. And then I see this other keyword all together. So I'm going to put a B for Braylon. And I know that Braylon ate 24 hot dogs. Tells me right there, she ate 24 hot dogs. And then Leo ate nine more hot dogs than Braylon. So he ate 24 hot dogs plus nine more because Braylon ate 24 and then he the problem tells us he ate nine more so we have to do our addition here four plus nine gets us 13 carry your one one plus two gets us three so we know Braylon ate 24 hot dogs and Leo ate 33 so that was the first step we still have to figure out how many they ate all together so now we have these two numbers. All together means that we're going to add. So 24 plus 33. 4 plus 3 is 7, and 2 plus 3 is 5. So now all together, they, we know that they ate 57 hot dogs. So we had two steps there. One, we had to figure out how many Leo ate because the problem didn't tell us. And then we had to figure out how much they ate all together. Let's try that kind of problem again. So we have this problem. Let's read it first. It says John sold 159 chocolates in the school fundraiser. Omar sold 63 more chocolates than John. How many chocolates did John and Omar sell in all? So once again, we've got 159 chocolates for John, and then Omar sold 63 more chocolates than John, and we got to figure out how much they sold in all. So first step, we got a J for John. He, we know he sold 159, and then we have to figure out Omar, how much he sold. And he sold 63 more than John, so that means I'm going to add those two because he sold 159 plus 63 more chocolates. So adding those together, we get 9 plus 3 is 12. Carry our 1 up here. 1 plus 5 is 6 plus another 6 is also 12. Carry our 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So now we know that Omar sold 222 chocolates while John sold 159. Still not done. They asked us how much they sold in all. So we have to give them a final number by adding those two together. In all is an addition keyword here. So doing our addition, we have 9 plus 2 is 11. Carry our 1. 1 plus 5 is 6 plus 2 is 8. And then 1 plus 2 is 3. So in all, they sold 381 chocolates. Continuing on, let's try this problem. It's a little different. So it says on Tuesday, 384 kids ate candy. On Thursday, 39 fewer kids ate candy. How many kids ate candy on Tuesday and Thursday? So we know on Tuesday, the kids ate 384 kids ate candy, while on Thursday, 39 fewer kids ate candy. And then how many 
kids ate candy on Tuesday and Thursday. I know I didn't write this down, but and is a key word also. You're trying to figure out how much they ate on Tuesday and Thursday. Basically, all together, you're trying to figure those out. So let's look. We've got Tuesday, 384 kids ate candy. And then on Thursday, we still have to figure it out. We know that fewer kids ate candy. So fewer means we have to subtract. So we have to take 384 and subtract 39. And let's see what we get. 4 minus 9, we can't do it. So we have to borrow from our 10s and fix it with the 10s there. So we get 14 minus 9 is 5. 7 minus 3 is 4, and 3 minus nothing is just 3. So we know 384 kids ate candy on Tuesday, while only 345 kids ate candy on Thursday. That's only the first step. We now have to add these two together. So 384 and tells us that we need to add with 345. And we get 4 plus 5 is 9. 8 plus 4 is 12. Carry our 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. Plus 3 is 7. 729 kids ate candy on Tuesday and Thursday. So let's try a problem like that again. We had fewer here, so we had to subtract instead of add in our first step. So let's try this one. On Monday, 523 kids ate hot lunch. On Tuesday, 167 fewer kids ate hot lunch. How many kids ate hot lunch on Tuesday and Monday? So on Monday, we know right away, 523. Then 167 fewer kids ate hot lunch on Tuesday. And we have to, we see this and there, and we just know we need to add it at the end. But first, we got to figure out, we got Monday, 523 kids. And then on Tuesday, 167 kid, fewer kids ate, so we have to do our subtraction. 523 minus 167. Subtracting 3 minus 7, we can't do. we got to borrow. Take from there. Put our 1 there. 13 minus 7 is 6. Well, we can't do this one. 1 minus 6, we got to borrow again. 11, we get an 11 minus 6 is 5. 4 minus 1, we can't do 350, or we can do, and we get 356 as our answer. So that's only the first step. We figured out how many kids ate hot lunch on Tuesday, which is 356, and on Monday, 523. So we do our addition now because we want to know how many ate on Tuesday and Monday. So lining up all our numbers here for ready for our addition. 3 plus 6 is 9, 2 plus 5 is 7, and 5 plus 3 is 8. And there you have it, 879 kids ate hot lunch on Tuesday and Monday. So now you know how to do two-step word problems. On these first few, we saw we had to add, while on these ones, we had to subtract in our first step because it said fewer. So good luck on your levels.